What's up, you guys? This is your boy Beastamon, and apparently, as soon as we start, we have problems. Well, for now, we're far enough where they shouldn't bother us, and even if we do, we can take them out anyways. So, just like this episode started, yes, I've had problems. Uh, so I thought that when I originally started, uh, well, first of all, I thought I'd be done 20, well, see, I'm having problems talk. I thought I'd be started 20 minutes ago when, okay, in case you guys don't know, for those of you who actually do watch and are subscribed, they're like, oh, this dude, you know, he's not really, you know, put up as much work as he did, last, let's say, before last June. Um, okay, so if you guys haven't paid attention, I've told you in previous episodes of the games I played that, you know, I, I you know, I need to, um, USB drive, like external USB drive or whatever. So I figure, okay, well maybe I can use, um, you know, a, uh, you know, external flash, you know, flash drive, you know, little ones, not the not the big ones that like keep like hundreds of gigs, but you know, just a small one that has eight. And yeah, apparently Pinnacle Studios does not allow you to, you know, capture and import those type of things. So I'm like, okay, now looking for a new program. But anyways, yeah, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I at least want to have it so I can record, you know, make it possible so I can record on a, you know, a USB if it's possible. As far as editing, I'll probably still go back to Pinnacle, but anyways, I, I had to also get catched, you know, not catched up, no, wait, way to go English. But anyways, I have to get caught up as far as what I did. So apparently we talked to Joe Lee and we've accepted him into the fold. Now, I always have this where it's just me. Vaseline Jolie, but I also anticipate probably one or two game overs because Jolie and I are both Jedi Consulars, which means we are not good at fighting at all. So, yeah, uh, Consulars are mainly good at force powers and nothing else. Bastila, on the other hand, is a um, Sentinel. She's good at both combat and Jedi powers. But we're going to see if we can make this work. Uh, okay, whoops. Yeah, I haven't played this in a while, so... Yeah, I'm not going to put up anything else since I decided until I do some of these episodes. So, oh, a Katarn. Okay, I don't know where I am right now. I'm pretty sure we already ran into, uh, didn't we? Yeah, I think it's going to come over and attack us, but let me check. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do something right now. Uh, I don't know if I should do it now or later. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it now rather than later. Cause I feel like we owe somebody something to do this. So this is just a Jedi in me, but we're gonna go back all the way back, and then, oh, oh yeah, we're also supposed to gather attack glance for missions, brother, which I talked about I think on the last episode. Don't quote me on that. It's been like a month and a half since I've actually recorded this, so I'm gonna need to get caught up. In the meantime. Um, you won't hear anything from me in a minute because I'm going to go and go back up. And we're going to free this guy from this debt. And oh my god, Tack's going to attack us, so we're going to whoop his ass. Okay, so we're back up here. And okay, in case you guys don't remember, um, so this guy, uh, Matt and Dossel, is in debt to Eli Gand versus the other way around. Whatever. Anyways, so we found last episode this droid that had apparently recorded some footage of Eli pretty much killing uh, Matt and his crew. And now he's in debt to him pretty much for false pretenses. So we're going to talk and... I think you better talk to Eli directly. He's the boss. You got that right. Because that ass gonna be busted in five, four, three, two. What can I do for you? Valued until you you hurt me, man. Droid head. On cash it? Let me see that. It's nothing. I'm certain. Uh, just garbage from the forest floor. Mere rubbish. It's DAO2, the repair droid from my ship. What was this doing in the forest? It recorded an ambush. Someone yelled Eli's name. Eli, you How stay. could you? My crew You're a monster. Well, that is, 
Really? Because it looked like your ass lied, and you try to pick your face up off the floor so you can hold face in front of other people. You tricked them into the Shadowlands and killed them while I fixed your freighter in orbit. Kill that bastard. Now, see, normally I would love to say kill him, and maybe I'll, I should have said beforehand, but we're going to, well, yeah, we're going to be nice about this. Now, business okay. bullshit. It was just business. Yeah, see, we got light side points for that. Let me see this. Cause I feel like going back and making a fool of that dude. Uh. Okay, that's a little bit too far back. That's like a minute back. You guys don't want to wait a minute and watch me um actually kill the dude. But he can kill the dude. And here's the thing. He ran towards the Shadowlands? I thought he ran towards the port. Oh my god, he's been working 36 days. Well, I could have shot out his legs and let him crawl around for a while, but I consider this... Well, seeing that you're on cash, it probably would have shown more, you know, it probably would have been more merciful if he had killed him, because it, I mean, only Joe Lee's lasted in the Shadowlands, and he's a he was a Jedi at one point. And if you don't understand why I say was, you'll find out in uh, future episodes. Suppose that closes your little outpost. Or his reputation shot, someone could take over. Well, there's not much for me to do, but yeah, probably in case, let's see what's on, let's see what's for sale. Alright then. Actually I feel like Okay, I'm so I think he still I think he also sells the same thing. Uh not really sure about that. Maybe. Or maybe he doesn't. I don't know, he might, but the thing is... Oh, I got 500 credits, yay. Okay, you guys, I'll meet you back down in the Shadowland. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back in the Shadowland, you guys. Sorry about that. There was a reason why I wanted to go now, because this planet is one giant quest, and as soon as you go far enough in where you can't, uh... Pretty much... Oh, how should I explain this? I'm terrible at explaining things on the spot. Especially when I don't think about them before. And anyway, this planet's one giant quest. So depending on your choices, you really can't make it up. So if you choose to, like, okay, there's like a dark side choice and light side choice, clearly. But it's one big choice. So it's like, as soon as you make either choice, you really can't go back and do any small side quests that don't have anything to do with the Wookiees like that. And you'll see why, which is why I went up there right now rather than going up later. So pretty much every small, every, uh, pretty much every mini quest that does not involve the, uh, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Give me a sec here. <sighs> Screw the tax. We don't need to kill anymore. We don't need PETA on our tail, too. Space PETA. Space, space PETA. Okay, Jolie. All that bragging better pay off. There, you see. Bastard, you stop it! You acting a fool. Not you too, Jolie. It's only been here a short while, or the Wookiees would have saved them. They wouldn't have had an easy time of it. Whatever, shut the thing down. <sighs> Must we indulge the elderly? Fine. Why did Zerka put this here? Just like Pokemon, it's not very effective. Oh lord. Have you gone past it before? Yes, but I don't make a habit of the other side. I can trust you to get past it. You said so. I can manipulate it for a moment. Ah, there we go. Dangerous depths of Kashik. A few surprises wait for us, I'll wager. Okay, so other than the quests that are in the shadow these lower shadow land, which is where we're going now, any quests that are to be done should be done before um uh, you finish this planet. Or unless they have something to do with the Wookiees in the Wookiee Village. 
otherwise you need to go up there and finish them right away so that's one of them and I think that might be the only one if there's not another one what if I can talk to Joe Lee again oh yeah I haven't leveled up so no nope so what do we have here? It looks like some Mandalorians and a Wookiee. Now these battles down here will get tough if you are more versed in being a Jedi Consular or if you're a scoundrel or if you're a, if you're both. It can get very rough. These Mandalorians don't play around. And this next part is the part of the planet, although I like it, it irks my nerves and you'll see why. I suggest you have any kind of shield you need now. Oh yeah, I can heal myself. I need to start. And in some cases, you will need to level up your characters rather fast. The downside of doing of leveling them up the way I want to is the fact that um, they easily can be preyed upon as far as stronger opponents. So like, if you're at level five, you're only as strong as level five. Yes, I can heal you, but, oh, you need to be healed right away. It's cool, I can heal you. Let's see, my hunting party, all of them killed without honor. I barely survived. I want the murders to suffer the same. But we're Jedi. We should not kill just to kill. It's wrong. Oh, I've seen them. They're called Mandalorians. Can you say it with me? Good. Let's use it in a sentence. The Mandalorians attacked this poor Wookiee. Let's put it in ghetto sentence. This Wookiee got his ass jumped by some bitch ass Mandalorians. Good. Now you know the word Mandalorians. Okay, I'll look into it. I know. All you people are out there like, what is wrong with this dude? So basically, I'm going to tell you what's going on now. This is the part of the planet I hate, and I'm going to probably get... You know what? Screw it. I played a nice way long enough. We are going to level you up. Only problem is, once... Um, if you level them all the way up, and... Ooh, yeah. Um, I level okay. They only need to go up a level. Joe Lee needs to go up several levels, so I'll just do it. The only problem is once they're weak, they're weak. Normally, I like doing it where if I have a character, I hold off on like leveling them until you know a certain point. But and the benefit of that, in case you haven't been watching this, is when you don't level up a character, if they get close to dying, all you have to do is level them up and they'll regain their health. So it's kind of like an exploit, but I can't. I don't want to do that here because they'll die really fast, like faster than sand people fast. And I'm not sure which way I'm going because. Oh yeah, I'm going this way. So what you have to do, and this is really stupid. And this is why this Wookiee got jumped. In case you don't know, this Wookiee is in the Shadowland, and notice he has no, he has nothing. Wookies can't wear armor or anything on the face by default, and also, he has absolutely no weapon. Now the thing about this is these Mandalorians, which the first group actually shows up right here. I'm gonna show you where they show up. They show up right here where these slate Wookies are. The thing is they won't show up. Oh, by attack. Oh yeah, the attacks in the um, lower Shadowland, which is where we are now. We're not in the upper Shadowland. They will not attack you no matter what. They're seasoned and a little bit smarter. So yeah, the farther you go in the, in the Shadowland, the more dangerous are the creatures and the smarter that they are. But anyways, yeah, so these Mandalorians will not attack you unless you unequip everything. Implants, head, hands, right arm, body, belt, right weapon, left weapon. Now there's a silver lining, and I'll talk about that, but for now, you have to unequip everything if you really want to help this Wookiee with his quest. You gotta unequip everything, and oh my god, uh, I'm not gonna remember what my character had on because I haven't played this game in a while. So you gotta unequip everything. Uh, probably not your. <laughs> I, I know I stripped him of his Jedi uh uniform, but you don't need to strip. Maybe we want to strip Bastila down, though. Yeah, we want to strip Bastila down, all right. Uh, 
I know that's so chauvinistic. But seriously, I don't know if you, because I haven't played this game in a while. I don't. Oh, Jolie didn't have anything to begin with, except for a lightsaber. So yeah, you're gonna need to go in as is. Now here's the thing: these cowards will only come out if you do this. So we're gonna encounter them now. And there's three groups before we finish this quest. So we step, so we step into the light, step into the light, and then these bastards jump us. Okay. Now the silver lining is because we have it, so we have to press the white button in order for us to attack we can put back on all our equipment so <laughs> yeah that's how you're supposed to do it that's how you're supposed to do it you're supposed to just let them think they're gonna win and then you ta -da 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 -da. that's what you're supposed to do so we are gonna act like we always had this you know I don't remember what I used so I'm gonna have to guess I don't know I really don't know <laughs> I didn't have a breath mask on, so I don't know. Maybe I had the verpine thing. I, I I don't know, but yeah, it's wise for you to have, or for me, uh, yeah, Mandalorian melee shield for me on one end and the Chani on the other. It's it's fast. I don't remember what you were wearing. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I think she had Bredix. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> this is really awful. I know you had a double lightsaber, so I don't know. We're just gonna have to guess and put some stuff on her, cause I don't have a clue. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, okay, Jolie, you had a green lightsaber. Pretty sure about that. Uh, let's give you a cardio regulator. Wait, let's give you a verpine cardio regulator. <laughs> Strength gauntlets. Uh, I don't know. I thought I gave Bastila the, uh, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. You only. Yeah, we're gonna give. I'm gonna give you the Bredrick thing. Okay, and now we can fight these guys as it, you know, as we are now, which is how we were before for the most part. And now we can attack these fools. Oh, you got saved. Let me see if I can paralyze you then. Okay, I got you the second time. See how much damage Bastila's taking? Okay, I'm gonna have to just... Because Chick needs help. She clearly needs help, and I am going to as well. Because the third one has, like, the Chief of the Mandalorians. And, oh my god, Bastila's gonna die. I know it's not my problem, but it is It is a problem. So, let me hook up Bastila. Oh my god. Wait. Here we go. I really should have bought more advanced med packs because I'm going to need them. Okay, so this is the first group, and you guys have to do this three times, which is very annoying. I know where the second and third groups are. And then this planet, the last part of this planet is really annoying, and Jolie died. When Jolie dies, don't get mad. It's expected. It's as expected as me dying from the sand people. Of course. Um, I could have protected myself, but I forgot that that is embarrassing. I got a game over on the stupidest of pretenses. I totally forgot that I could I can equip dual uh, lightsabers. So I died with just a lightsaber. Oh yeah, and every time you get a data pad, I'm gonna let you read this data pad. And the second data pad is the same as the first data pad. Um, so yeah. Um, oh. Okay, so yeah, Jolie says pretty much the star map might be down here, and we agreed to help a Wookiee try to regain some glory by killing these Mandalorians. Uh, oh yeah, I'm supposed to help you guys read this uh, data pad that we just got. Uh, it's under Mandalorian data pad, I think. Wait, no, I thought there was. Oh, there is quest. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I misread that. I thought we had a date. Uh, I don't know what that data pad is. I just saw it. I know it's not important for you guys to read this, but I want I, I want you to kind of know what's going on. And there's a random data pad. Oh, here we go, Mandalorian data pad. This should be under quest, not utilities, because this is a quest we actually get. Okay, so I'm gonna let you read this.
Okay, so pretty much they're, t they're telling us how it works, how their machine works. So the second group, I know what the second group is, but I always get co I always get confused where I'm going because it's really easy for me to get lost. What we're looking for is a tree, like an underside of a tree or something to go under. Okay, yeah, I was going the right way. Um, also, there are tin rats down here. There are other things too. So I don't wait. No, I'm not going the right way, am I? Is it the next one? It's either this one or the next one. Let's see, I said the underpass of a tree. Oh yeah, this is it. Oh, good job, Bastila. Yeah, and I'm all out of uh, force power, which is pretty ironic. I don't know how long is it till I level up. Let me find out. And these Viper Kinrath are nothing to make fun of if you've seen uh, Dantooine, so... Oh my god. I still need another 5,000. Yep, and I got poison, which I, I pretty much figured. Poison does go away in this game. Or you can use Antidote. Uh, doesn't really matter. Only problem is your attacking will suck, and let me switch to Jolie. Oh, it got saved. Well, try using Whirlwind for crying out loud. Use something. Anyways, so the quick fix is to... Wait, I'm in the wrong one. Is to use a uh, antidote kit, which yeah. And Basila, I don't know what you were doing. You didn't even try to heal one of us. There we go. Oh yeah, Joe Lee could do that too. It's probably better that I use Joe Lee, but okay. Second group, I believe it's under this rock. So, jeez. Yeah, anywhere you see dead, uh. Wookies, or you see. Oh my god, I sound like an idiot. Anywhere you see dead Wookies, or anywhere that you see a, you know, a hovercraft, that's how you know. Yeah, you're gonna have to do this three times. This is the second time. It doesn't get easier. And trust me, on the third time, uh. Yeah, third time. Not gonna enjoy that. But once again, you're gonna have to do this. And Jolie. So the only way to get them to show up is to do this. And then they'll show up. Now we are going to have to walk back a little. Oh, I didn't mean to go all the way back. And oh my god, Jolie has man boobs. Anyway. <laughs> I didn't mean to take off everything. I should have left their clothing on. So we're going to do what we did again. We're going to re-equip the clothing and make them look like dumbasses. Okay. So annoying. Gee. I don't know. What what did I what did I equip myself with? Oh wait, no. This is really annoying. You're gonna have to do this three times. Boy, it's been a long time since I played this because I've been so busy with Need for Speed and uh Midnight Club 2. Okay, this is really aggravating. Pretty much as aggravating as assault is. It's not meant to be a joke, I'm just saying it's... <sighs> God. Yeah, so this is a 30 plus minute video. In case you haven't figured it out, I don't know how you haven't figured it out. Although, it probably won't be because I have to edit some stuff out. Because nobody wants to take 5 minutes going up and down the freaking Shadowlands. I don't, I don't, yeah, okay, so we're all set to fight these guys, oh wow, uh, yeah, Jolie needs help, Bastila, you're not doing anything, so, I don't know, maybe you want to help out, and really, Jolie, you should be trying to heal yourself. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I don't trust Jolie. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know that right now. Maybe if I give him a, a, a battle stimulant, it won't really help out that much, and he might still die. But oh, Jolie's <sighs> darn it, he's stunned. Yeah, he died. Okay, I kind of figured that. So if you use Jolie, just be prepared. You might want to have Juhani as a counter. 
Cause Juhani is a battle guardian. Uh, you know, a Jedi guardian, not a battle guardian. So yeah, Juhani is a good, like, you know, balance for Jolie. Yeah, I'm missing like crazy too. It's to be expected. Oh my god, what are you doing, dude? Okay. Uh. Oh my god. I'm dreading the third battle. Okay, uh. So the third one, you're probably wondering where the third one's taking place. Third one's a little different. Because we got the swoop device signal. I know I went so fast you didn't see it, but we, we just picked that up. Third battle's a little bit differently. You do not have to take off your clothing for the third battle. You heard me right, you don't have to take off your clothing. Instead, all you have to do is show up. And because we got that swoop device signal, it automatically um, nullifies that uh, cloaking device they have. So the only thing we have to do in the third, the third area is right here in the circle where these uh, swoop bikes are. So. Um, I'm gonna heal the party and then, well you guys could help, what can I, do? I know they're not smart enough to know to help. You kinda have to tell them in the menu, I think you could tell them in the menu, I don't know, or is that, maybe it's just me. Uh, no I don't think you can tell them in the menu, and if you can, I don't know. I usually don't do that, but, I don't think you can, yes. I know what I'm thinking about, Never mind. But yeah, I want to kind of let my uh, first of all, where is? Oh, we only got one life support pack, of course. So I'm just gonna sit here for a minute, and I'm gonna save the game because when we do this, this will be the end of the episode. But I'm gonna save because I believe I'm gonna get a game over. <laughs> so this video, I know it's going on like quite long enough because right now I'm looking, um, we're over. 30 minutes and even with me editing out footage we're still gonna be over 30 minutes so yeah a smart thing to do if you're not around anybody and you know you have to wait for um how should I say you have to wait for your force your force meter to build up is to talk to people either talk to people or just sit here doing nothing and come back like in about five minutes I'm gonna try to talk to people and see what's going on Jolie probably won't talk to us until we're on the ship as far as issues Bastila has something to say. What do you got to say, Bastila? I do. Oh lord. How are you going to critique me this time? I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have come to depend on you, not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am. I'm glad you're with us. What was that again? I, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't hear that. Y'all heard that, right? She she gave me a compliment. She gave me a compliment. Of course. I love to tease the ladies. Love to teach the latest. I'm still really for a shock. Was that a compliment? But you just sounded so pang saying. Did I? I am trying to be sincere. <laughs> Girl, you know I like to mess around. I appreciate the jester. I know my mother can be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of Oh no, I don't get sick of him. I just annoy you in return. Everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors. Being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. And See, well, when you praise women too much, they get mad. That's why they like. That's why they like guys that are aggressive. They like bad boys. They don't like guys that are all. You know, you're such a strong woman. I love you. They're like, oh god, this dude. He's not a bit manly. <sighs> friend zone. Friend zone. Anyways, don't forget, edgy, critical, overly secretive. <laughs> There's no need for you to agree so wholeheartedly. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length. Even those like yourself who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I had to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend. We course, could be more than just friends. I want us to be more than just friends. I want us to be more than just friends. I want us to be more than just friends. 
I want us to be more than just friends. Okay, y'all figure figure where that's from and y'all hit me back. Y'all PM me that stuff or put it in the comments. I probably won't respond because you know I feel about YouTube and their stupid policy. Anyways, figure out where that's from. You can hit me up and I'll tell you if you're right. But anyways. I know we can't boonda boonda boonda. I'm glad you did. I care about you too, Basla, as a friend. so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel, I feel much better. But I agree. Let's continue with the mission. Let's do this real quick because um, we wasted way too much time. We wasted about like 50,477.960 minutes, which doesn't make any sense, but we wasted a lot of time. And uh, yeah, my, um, my hard drive is saying, you better end this dude before I cut you down. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to walk up to one of these machines. And then you just have to put the signal drive in it. Now this battle is extremely hard. I would suggest beforehand that you... Yeah, and this dude's the leader because he's wearing red. Now Candorus was down here, which I have had him down here before, and I know I've been shown a Candorus, and I'm sorry, Candorus, but this is a Jedi thing. They use sword, they use swords, so having Jedi use a, you know, having him use any type of... Oh my god. Pause, I wasn't ready yet, fool. Having him use any type of, uh, what do you call it? Um, having him use any type of ranged weaponry is just stupid. It's beyond stupid. Unless you're this strong, you should not ever do that. Like, seriously, I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm just trying, trying to tell you. Be careful, and you want to go for the, the, the minuscule Mandalorians first. The ones that aren't, a, like... You know, that aren't hard first. Because these guys can pack a wallet. And you need to watch out for the leader as well. Oh, okay, I froze one. Because you can get a game over if you get over con overly confident. And Jolie died. <laughs> Because he was uh, paralyzed. He gets paralyzed very easily, which is surprising. And, oh crap, I'm screwed. And I got paralyzed, so... Since I can't heal myself right away... Snap out of it, dude. You're gonna... He's gonna die. Okay. I told him he was gonna die. I'm pretty sure I told him that. Uh... Okay, there we go. I guess I'm going to have to use my only life support pack, which doesn't do much. It does a little bit better than a, uh... Oh crap, I used it on the wrong one. <laughs> I used it on the wrong one. Wow. Okay, I used stasis on the wrong guy. I could not afford to do that. Oh my god. Uh... She can use force aura. That's about it. Good work, Basila. Wait. Did I heal us? I hate playing the heal game. Oh, 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 oh. Right away. That couldn't come at a better time. Yeah, so I should not have played the game this whole game the way I did. I pretty much played this game against the grain of how I usually play. And we beat him. Oh my god, what is going on? And Jolie leveled up too. Which is good if Jolie had stayed alive. But anyway, so this marks the end of the episode. I'm going to cut off here because we only have one. No, we have two things to do down here. And they both will happen almost simultaneously on top of each other. But since this is almost, oh my god, it's almost 40 minutes. <laughs> it's, um, this is going on way too long. So I'm going to end it here. This is your boy Beast of Mine. And next time, we will do some stuff. And we will also heal Joe Lee, which, yeah, he's on the borderline going to the spirit world. Later.